So like I said, there's a large unmet need for managing diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis with limited options and no cure. I direct one of the largest programs in the country for systemic sclerosis. There is no disease modifying treatment for the disease that can prevent or arrest early organ involvement. And I must add, as a rheumatologist, we have done wonderful things for rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, lupus, where we are actually able to stop the damage that happens in the joint, the damage that happens in the kidneys of people with lupus. No such treatment exists in scleroderma as we talk today in 2021. The treatment are largely symptomatic relief with low evidence that they will stop the disease progression or slow the disease progression. So as a rheumatologist, I would treat them with immunosuppressive therapies to calm down inflammation and fibrosis. Steroids and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as Motrin, such as Aleve, to calm down inflammation, pain, and swelling, and vasodilators that can improve the blood flow for Raynaud's phenomenon. There are certain FDA-approved drugs that are focused on interstitial lung disease or lung fibrosis and pulmonary arterial hypertension. But if you and I had to talk about the disease, what do we want? We want to prevent internal organ complications from happening. We want to arrest those internal organ complications for progressing further. I think I feel defeated a lot of times when a patient comes with lung fibrosis or pulmonary arterial hypertension, and the best I can do is have that disorder internal organ involvement and then start the treatment. And that's what we are trying to do and change with the trial I'm very excited to be part of.